Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? You can be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first. Like a pig. Killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. Brit was the killer, and worse. He got what was coming to him. And you made sure he got it, didn't you? Threw him clear off the wall. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, I didn't do this. You think I'm blind? Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Brit didn't do anything wrong. Garrett murdered him in cold blood. Shoved him clean off the wall. Garrett's no brother. He's worse than the wildlings. He'd kill any one of us who looked at him funny. Brit slaughtered he my family! He was a man of the watch and you murdered him! Save your breath, Tuttle. You haven't got much of it left. Let's go! Say goodbye to your brothers. 
Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusty's. Not with this one, you're not. Got a witness says he murdered Brit. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Garrod, I... I can't believe you did this. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. And then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod, you told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrod. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this? any different. Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. One run in was enough for me, thanks. Clearly. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asha. <laughs> You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? I don't want your money. I just need your help. 
Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an, an army. army. If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want too. If you really believe that, you'll understand why I cannot help you. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. <laughs> That's but it. Your Grace. See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asher? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Asha, please. Anything for you. Within reason, of course. Very well. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. I told you I didn't want to go back to Marine. What the hell was that? Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Beska. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bedrolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss pocket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people <gasps> walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylan. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Look at me, Roylan. I can barely hold this damn thing, much less swing it. So, you're gonna give up then? There are other ways to fight, my lord. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me.
bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Ah. One trick! <clears throat> Let's try it again. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. Elena, the last thing I need right now is more trouble. You just turned me away. After all we've been through. I need your help, Roderick. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Griff sits in my great hall and acts like the king of bloody Westeros. You can't marry him. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. And so have I. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. The Whitehills still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too.
can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one hour. I fancy she'll marry his brother too. Not to I mention put it Cersei past her. and Jaime. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Blood White Hill. Lord Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, if you need Sarah to get you in there, you might as well try, right? It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. No one out there. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Might be useful. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. 
Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it'll work. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think... in the first chance he gets. Trust me. Then we better be ready. I can get us through the tunnel. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and I want you to enter. We'll be ready.
I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Let the maester go, Griff. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick. <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You'll pay for this in blood. I thought I taught you proper, Roderick. You are not the man in charge now. I am. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Careful, Griff. You really don't want to do that. And why the fuck not? You planning to stop me? <laughs> ah, you fucking... You're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the... What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders! What are you waiting for? Help the maester! Oh, thank you, my lord. What are you doing? Back away. Now. This is my hall! You have no right to be here! Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me! My father. We'll go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you, and your sister, and your whole fucking family! Leave Ironrath. Take your soldiers and get out. Then maybe I'll show you mercy. I'm not going anywhere. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're... <laughs> 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 Is this the man you'd rather have? This... Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you so... You need to stop! Oh! 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 My eye! Ro ah! Roderick! Ah! No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. Lord Vital doesn't have to find out. You can only keep this a secret for so long. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick.
We're done here. Clear out. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. I can't see. I can't see anything. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the Ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cave. Well, in the seven bloody hells. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? Or the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together... We're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? Ugh. I'd never work with a bloody show like you Bisco, anyway! what the hell is going on? Pfft, you gonna lecture me too? <laughs> oh, the fuck! Croft doesn't know shit about anything. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go! You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? You're the only reason I'm even fucking here! You told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here! I'm doing this for my family, Biscuit. This is oh, the only it's way! It's always about you. Your family. Your problems. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. So what? You're going to kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city. I was a slave! Here, in this fucking city! <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. Lance, what kind of a monster would do that to a child? To him, we were not children. We were his playthings. His... Entertainment. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. 
My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. You're on your own. Please, Sarah. I know you're probably angry with me, but I need your help. I don't know. Please. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? <laughs> You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop it. laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? My apologies. I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You've told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Have you met 
And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm. Is there no longer a demand for this? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such things. Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. You and Lord Morgren don't seem to be getting along. Something the matter? Lord Morgren? That is none of your concern, Lady Mira. You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scared me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Good day, Lady Mira. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. Do you still work with him? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> oh, leave him alone. Please excuse me. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit. You startled me. I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have... No, no, it's not your fault. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like. 
You can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please... Please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just... just leave. Just be quiet, Lyman. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. 
Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring cell swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic. Because I'm just getting started. Sure, this is the right way. Cotter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? Oh, there's still plenty left. Good. It means we won't have to stop for a while. It's a good thing we didn't bring Finn along. He'd have eaten all the food by now. We're on the right track. This way. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Got her! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Good on, Ting. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend. Or I'll make him scream first. Please! You don't like it! You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon! Oh! 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 How's that feel? I think you can do better! Leave them alone! 
Fighting you. It's over. Could you don't do it? Garrett. Shit. Oh. We can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord, and I'm... I wish I had killed him. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could gather information. See how fortified their castle really is. Well, that's true, I suppose. If we're to mount an assault... We'd only do that if they still held Ryan. But now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. We'll need the Glenmores at High Point. They'll accompany us. Yes, my lord. Let Arthur Glenmore know at once. I'll start making the preparations. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. 
By rights, it should be your Sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Roiland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. I wish I knew. Still, we can bring only one. Duncan's my Sentinel. He comes to High Point. Roiland can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. I don't care. Talia, you'll be the only forester at Ironrath while we're gone. I need you to rule in my stead. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Ethan rose to this task, and so will you. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. <laughs> You're my family too, Malcolm. And I couldn't be prouder of you. Good luck, my boy. Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Serend, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kieran will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when we stole that giant warhammer? Get in, do what that you have to do, and get your people Didn't out she hit alive. you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought care my about. head could feel any You got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. What does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. You don't have to worry about us. Just point us at the people you want dead. We'll take it from there. You enjoy this far more than you should. Kill only those you must. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. I hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far.
Which way? There's a path around there. Voids the main street. Let's just get this over with. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You ask me which way. This is it. And we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. Can you see anyone? We have to go. There's something I have to do. Eska, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this! Just tell me! Do you trust me? I need to know. Honestly, right now, I'm not sure I can. Fine! I'll do this on my own! Eska! Where are you going? Follow her! Was Why are you doing this? Ten years ago. Beska! Stop! I should have killed you. Beska! I should have fucking killed you! Beska! He was my master. Dezo Zoraza. The man who forced me to... I'm going to kill you! Death is too easy for a man like him. I'll make sure he feels it. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away! My... my best guy! I am not your Let him go! Quote, what are you doing? I shoot! You will do as I say! Both of you! Take her weapon! I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it! 
Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. She won't. Then who the fuck cares? Go ahead, Beska. <laughs> no! What have you done? Let's go. Come on. What is this place? An old haunting camp. We can rest here. You sure? I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. Ah! Here. Let me take a look at it. How? Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ugh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Ugh. Oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something? Please. I'll see what I can find. Whoever was living here must have left. Too bad they didn't leave anything behind. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Garrett! Is that... Garrett! Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! I told you I'd come back. Who is this? He's a friend. You brought a crow here. You're planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... <laughs> this is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick, Lady Alyssa. 
Gwyn? And... Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? Bringing those soldiers here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. I thought you knew better. The Glenmores have sided with us. I want him to know it. I need you to cooperate today, Roderick. And why would I do that? I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'll do whatever I feel like doing. I'm warning you, Roderick. Tread carefully today. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? Lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. The father isn't one for portraits. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Let's be ready to defend ourselves. Form up! Ryan for Griff. That is the plan. I'll look around. See what we're up against. from the other side. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. We came here for Ryan. I mean to get him back. 
I know you do. I hope it doesn't come at too great a cost. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Welcome to High Point. Lord. You're not nervous, are you? I could ask you the same thing. All these soldiers... I wasn't the one who invited the Glenmores. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast. To family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? <sighs> no fucking courtesy. Now, as lovely as this is, I presume we have business to discuss. Indeed we do. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just Give him time. I told you- I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. Need I remind you, you kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me slaughtering your small folk. Griff's no longer in charge of Iron Wrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. <gasps> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. I'll gladly return him. If my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! 
Ryan! Mother! Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! No! No! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine?! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't do I swear this. by the gods, if you will... Let him go, or I'll have Griff This killed. is not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? I ought to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word. Kill me, and we all die! On your let order, go, let me you go! Everyone, please! No. I'll kill you! Arthur, now! See Griff you alive. think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? I ought to kill you right now! Because you foresters never I'm learn. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word! Kill me! And we all die! On your order, go, let me. Fine. I'll take your Ironwood deal. If you make the trade. Come on, Lord. Things don't have to end this way. You're lucky I know mercy. <clears throat> Ryan, come here. No! We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. <clears throat> Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both. When the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lud. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. Iron from ice! There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. We'll need to take those two out first. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them? Aye. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. Is it Dazor? He's dead. You gave him what he deserved. Time to move on. Not him I'm worried about. It's Croft. I hope he doesn't... It's done now. Take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Then prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. 
She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. No. <laughs> We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So? Which will it be? You want to be the leader, you decide. I'll go over the top. You just make sure to clear the way. He'll see you. I think he got the easy job. on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. I've got it. Go. Too much. What? It's too much. You're ruining it. I know what I'm doing. Doesn't look like you do. Good little rat. Did you say something? Well? I said you're a little rat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing. Just keep doing it that way. You tell me when your sword breaks. This won't break. Well, you inhabitants first. See how you like it. All clear down there? Hey! Dealt with worse. 
Let's rush them and be done with it. What about them? You afraid of a couple of crossbows? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. Well, hello. Aja, look out! Light it! Light it! Down! Stop him! Cut the fuse! Did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. You hear that? <sighs> it's starting. Last. Back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. But you kept your head and took Lud's deal. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed. Eat at our table. Restoring our family is just the beginning. Next we'll rebuild. Make ourselves strong again. <sighs> oh, Roderick. Sometimes you sound just like your father. My lord, look! Where are the gods? Dahlia? Sir Ryland! Where's my sister? Elena! Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I I didn't mean to offend you. Perhaps a song instead. 
I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? I will... Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. How courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her manners. We've had a lovely time together, haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you? I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrod. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. Justice was for Marine to deliver, not you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't swords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you're not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrod. Shh! 